Enda Yoga, Wikipedia article audio. Enda Yoga is an ancient Indian metaphysical system. It is equally a philosophical system, a medicine, and a form of yoga. The system's theoretical and practical aspects are based on the premise that the entire cosmos and all that exists in the cosmos, including human beings, consists of sound vibrations, called enda. This concept holds that it is the sound energy in motion rather than of matter and particles which form the building blocks of the cosmos. Description Primary Literature Secondary Literature Mantrayana Notes Enda Yoga is also a reverential way to approach and respond to sound. In this context, sound music carry a spiritual weight more meaningful, respectively, than what sensory properties normally provide. Sound and music are considered to play a potential medium-slash-intermediary role to achieve a deeper unity with both the outer and inner cosmos. Enda Yoga's use of sound vibrations and resonances are also used to pursue palliative effects on various problematic psychological and spiritual conditions. It is also employed to raise the level of awareness of the postulated energy centers called chakra. Music has been used by most Indian saints as an important and powerful tool in the quest for the achievement of nirvana. Notable names to be mentioned here include Kanakadasa, Thyagaraja, Kabir, Mirabai, Namdeo, Parandaradasa, and Tukaram. The Enda Yoga system divides music into two categories internal music, Anahata, and external music, Ahata. While the external music is conveyed to consciousness via sensory organs in the form of the ears, in which mechanical energy is converted to electrochemical energy and then transformed in the brain to sensations of sound, it is the Anahata Chakra, which is considered responsible for the reception of the internal music, but not in the way of a normal sensory organ. The Anahata concept refers to one's own personal sound vibrations, which are thought to be so closely associated with one's self and the self that a person cannot share their Anahata with another human being. In other words, this inner sound is sacred and once reached will open the practitioner's chakras, which ultimately will unite the body to the divine-slash-cosmos. With continued sounds a focused mind and controlled breath, the individual can, according to Enda Yoga, listen in on their own Anahata, their own inner sound, which can take up to nine different forms. Such a process of inner awareness and sensitivity leads to increased self-recollectedness and finally to awakening. To concentrate on this inner sound as a support for meditation is very helpful to tame the mind, and when it has been clearly recognized, used for self-recollectedness in outer life as well. Eventually, it can be experienced as penetrating all matter and indeed vibrates eternally throughout the creation. In Enda Yoga, one of the main breathing sounds is Aha where each part of the word is focused on and spoken individually. The echoes produced by each of these spoken letters is a time where the yogi should immerse herself and rest. Now, because of imbalances within the human body, Enda Yoga begins by removing the ailments and impurities by awakening the fire in the body with the use of a sound resembling that of a bee. It is important to note that when the yogi slash yogini is forming sounds, their mind should not wander off to other entities. One group to incorporate yoga, enda yoga specifically, and the practice of sound into the spiritual transformation is the jasman. The jasman are identified as a sant tradition, and they are a blend of Arvayava Bhakta tradition with the N.A. with Makron Th. Yoga tradition. Yoga is used in personal and social transformation. 
The Jasmani's spiritual quest interlinks the practice of Kwali and Enda Yoga. In the West, detailed indications and advices have been given by Edward Salim Michael in his book, The Law of Attention, Nada Yoga and the Way of Inner Vigilance. Ajahn Sumidho, from the Thai forest tradition also teaches the practice of this inner sound. The condition known in Western medicine as tinnitus is considered in Ayurvedic medicine to possibly be caused by spiritual awakening to the Anahata. Nada Bindu Upanishad Shurangama Sutra The Ragamastra, often spelled Shurangama Sutra or Sarangama Sutra in English, is a Mahayana Sutra and one of the main texts used in the Chan school in Chinese Buddhism. In the Sarangama Sutra, Avalokitesvara says that he attained enlightenment through concentration on the subtle inner sound. The Buddha then praises Avalokitesvara and says that this is the supreme way to go. How sweetly mysterious is the transcendental sound of Avalokiteshvara? It is the pure Brahman sound. It is the subdued murmur of the sea tide setting inward. Its mysterious sound brings liberation and peace to all sentient beings who in their distress are calling for aid. It brings a sense of permanency to those who are truly seeking the attainment of Nirvana's peace. All the brothers in this great assembly, and you too, Ananda, should reverse your outward perception of hearing and listen inwardly for the perfectly unified and intrinsic sound of your own mind essence, for as soon as you have attained perfect accommodation, you will have attained to supreme enlightenment. One. Jamgon Kong Trul provides an important paradigm of salience for the esoteric Dzogchen doctrine of sound, light and rays and the mantra of the Mantrayana tradition in particular, Kong Trul, ETAL identifies the primordial sound and its semantic field. The primordial indestructible great vital essence, which is the root or ground of all of cyclic life and perfect peace, is known as primordial because it has no beginning or end, as indestructible because it is indivisible, as vital essence because it pervades the various appearances, and as great because there is nothing that it does not encompass. There are countless synonyms for the primordial indestructible great vital essence, such as great seal, great bliss, primordial sound, all pervading Vajra of space. Ordinary Awareness, Pristine Awareness Channel, Pristine Awareness Wind, Invincible Ham, Invincible Vital Essence, Essence of Enlightenment, and Transcendent Wisdom. This quotation comes from the famed Shurjitso or the Treasury of Knowledge of Voluminous Work, Encyclopedic in Breadth, by Jamgon Kong Trul. 2. The Mahasadavanapa achieved Mahamadra through contemplation of the unborn, unstruck sound. With perseverance and devotion. I mastered the Venus errant chords, but then practicing the unborn, unstruck sound, I, Vanapa, lost myself. His mastery of the unborn, Unstruck sound made audible by eradication of concepts, judgments, comparisons, and criticism that obscure cognition of the pure sound of the instrument, is accomplishment of the fulfillment process. The unstruck sound is the sound of silence and is the auditory equivalent of phenomenal emptiness. It is absolute sound, it is the potential sound of everything composed and waiting to be composed. Lost in this non-sound, the sense of self becomes infinitely diffused in emptiness. These quotes are from P91 and P93 respectively of Masters of Mahamadra, Songs and Histories of the 84 Buddhist Siddhas by Keith Dowman, Publisher, State University of New York Press.